Hi, I'm Chad with Move 4 Guitar. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to play drop 3, minor 7, flat 5 chord inversions starting on the 5th string. So I'm going to show you how to play drop 3, minor 7, flat 5 chord inversions starting on the 5th string. So the strings you'll be fretting will be the 5th string, the 3rd string, the second string and the first string. And in this lesson I'm not going to get into theory or give explanation about drop chords or anything like that. I just want to keep this lesson really simple, show you these chord shapes so you can learn them and start using them right away. And I'll have other lessons that I'll dive into theory and all of that. But like I said, I want to keep this simple for those who are just wanting to learn these shapes and start using them. So I'm going to play each one of these chords up the fretboard and as I play each one there'll be a diagram on the screen showing you the inversion that I'm playing and in the diagram it's going to show you the intervals of the chord. It's not going to show you the fingerings of the chord because at this point if you're learning more advanced chords like these are you should be at a level where you're able to figure out the fingerings that work best for you and everyone's fingers are a little different so what works best for me might be different than what works best for you and also the playing situation you're in is going to determine the best fingering to use a lot of time as well just depending on the transitions you have to make and what's going to allow you to make the most comfortable and smooth transitions. so that's why the diagrams show the intervals not the fingerings and I'm showing these as C minor 7 flat 5 just because it falls on a nice place on the fretboard. I can start down here in root position and work my way up to third inversion. But there's no open strings in these chords so that means these chords are movable chords and these shapes are going to stay the same no matter what key you're playing in. It's just if you're in a different key you'll be in a different spot on the neck but the shape will stay the same. So I'm just going to start with C minor 7 flat 5 in root position. So those are drop 3 C minor 7 flat 5 chord inversions. Play them starting in root position up to third inversion and back down. Once you can do that comfortably, randomize the order so that you're not just playing them in a specific order. It's important to randomize it so that you can grab these chords quickly anytime you want. If you just play them in order up and down the fretboard, you're going to really build muscle memory based on the order that you're playing them in. So if you randomize the order, it's going to break you of that and that's going to ensure that no matter where you are, you can grab one of these inversions without having to think about it. And then once you can play them as C minor 7 flat 5, move them to the other keys and like I said, they're movable chords, so the shapes are going to stay the same. You'll just end up in a different spot on the neck in a different key. But it's really important to practice them in the any other keys anyway and be able to grab these quickly no matter what key you're playing in. And be sure to subscribe because we add at least one new lesson every day.